Hey, what's going on you guys? This gameplay is from 2016. This is NBA Live 16. This gameplay, I got it in the month of May. This is the year where the Cleveland Cavaliers won the NBA championship against the Golden State Warriors. And from the month of May until June of that year, I got so many amazing gameplays and this is just the beginning. If I got enough support on these videos, I will post them in chronological order. So this is the very first game from May 23rd and I have gameplay I think until July or August. So if you guys enjoy this video, you could just drop a quick like right now before you forget. And then if I get enough likes, I will upload the rest of the videos. So uh, <laughs> I am so rusty. This is probably the worst commentary of all time. So let me try to explain what's going on in this video, if I can remember, because like I said, this is from 2016. So, uh, let me see. Oh yeah, the first... Wow, I'm choking. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Alright, I remember now. My starting lineup in this game is a defensive lineup, because throughout the year on NBA Live, when I finished the game, when I got all the players that I wanted, or all the best players, what I did is I would switch up my lineups to keep it interesting. I would run like, for example, an all Rockets team, all Cavaliers team, a defensive team. I would try to assemble the best possible situational teams that I could with the players that I currently have. So with all the players that I had at this point, the best defensive team I could assemble for the starting five is what I had in the beginning. It was Gary Payton, Kawhi Leonard, Dennis Rodman, Nikimi Matumbo, and Paul George. And off the bench, I had all the offensive power. I had the spotlight Kevin Durant, the spotlight Russell Westbrook, spotlight Damian Lillard. I had James Harden, Anthony Davis, I think, and all the other players that I can't really remember right now. So that's what I would do. I would start with a super defensive team and then sub in the offensive players or mix and match both of them throughout the game, depending on what's going on. So this game, I think it was my first game with the new Kevin Durant that rated 97. So this is why I was shooting most of the time with KD. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Let me replay that real quick. Oh my goodness. Where are you going, Klay Thompson? That was sick. But if you guys are enjoying the video so far, leave a comment, leave a like. Just let me know that you guys are supporting this type of video old school NBA Live, so much fun in my opinion. This is one of the reasons I am going to be purchasing NBA Live 18 because from the demo I'm having a lot of fun and it's just remembering, it's making me reminisce about Live 16 and I know the potential that Live 18 has and I could see that I will be having a lot of fun with that game as much as Live 16 hopefully. And while it's on sale for 33% off for only 40 bucks, why not? You know, there's nothing to lose. I'm mostly a basketball gamer. For sure, 2K is going to be purchased. So live as a second option for only $40 is a no-brainer for me. A lot of people don't want to buy it. They say it's not realistic. It looks weird. But in my opinion, I think people are just not used to something new. They're used to the 2K style of play. Live is a different type of um, basketball gameplay. And I think people are just not used to it or they can't adapt to something new or they just just doesn't have the same feeling as 2K. That's why they're so quick to judge it. And they haven't given it enough time. That's what I thought about Live as well. When I was playing Live 16, my first few weeks I didn't like it and then I stopped playing the game. I was thinking the same thing as all these other people, but then as soon as I got used to it and realized that it's not supposed to be like 2K and I started to have fun, you know? So that's what I think. So the third quarter is winding down right now. He was reaching. Lillard, that should have been add one. I think we were down by 12 points in the third, so we finally caught up and we played some nice defense and it's going to be a tie basketball game heading into the fourth quarter. 
So I'm going to try screen and pop with Kevin Love. Wide open lane. Damian Lillard goes all the way. But his team is nice. His team was called the Dream Team. His whole squad was lit. He had Dwight Howard, Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins. Basically all the all-stars of today. So it was a very hard team to beat. And he was skilled too. So you can't expect to beat people with good teams and with skill by 20-30 points. You gotta expect a close game sometimes, and that's what I play this game for. Sometimes blowouts are really boring, and close games like this is what makes you better. I've been repeating this in all my live videos, that tight games are what makes you better. You make mistakes, you learn from them. So I finally got the lead here with a minute 37. We have a chance to extend it some more. I'm gonna push the basketball with Russell Westbrook this time, but he tries to strip me. Yo, it's very exciting right now. KD wide open, but he misses a nice shot. And against all-star teams like this, if you miss a shot, they're going to score very quickly. So now it's a tie basketball game with 50 seconds left. Westbrook goes in with the crazy layup. We're down two. I'm giving it to Kevin Durant. He gets bumped. No foul. I'm going in. Crazy shot. It goes in. Screen and roll. James Harden. Anthony Davis. We bring the help. Oh! I'm assuming he wanted to pass it to Dwight Howard, but Anthony Davis, he just passed it to the wrong person. We got lucky there. User defense on Steph Curry. We get the rebound. And he fouls Paul George. I'm not sure why he fouled Paul George. I think he had a foul to give. That's what he was thinking probably. But anyways, that's that <laughs> that helps us a lot. We don't have to execute, we just have a shot at two free throws and we make both. We'll watch this. He runs a nice play. James Harden gets wide open off a down screen. And I miss the steal and he gets a wide open three. So I got a chance to win the basketball game. I'm gonna go into Kevin Durant. He's been making some crazy shots. Go in the lane. Oh, he gets blocked. I think I should have taken a jumper, but it's all good. Fun game. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you guys want to see more or if you guys enjoyed it, leave a comment or a like. My goal will be between 5 to 10 likes. Not that big of an amount. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.